Are you what they call a high value man? Have you ever heard of that term, high value? You say yeah. They call that uh, men that make over six figures. If you make over a hundred K, they call you a high value man. But I believe Jesus Christ is a high value man. The Bible talks about you can't serve God and money. You know, you come from Esau. Esau sold your birthright to his brother Jacob. Jacob is a black man. Esau is a Caucasian in the book of Genesis, chapter 25. Esau sold your birthright. He sold his birthright because he's the progenitor of the Edomites. So you come from the nation of Esau, Edom. Jesus Christ is a black man that comes through Jacob. He chose the tribe of Judah. Uh, Judah is the kings and the priests of the earth. And we dwell in Zion, the church of Zion. And so you have the fatness of the earth right now. But Jesus Christ is bringing judgment to the Edomites because of what you did to his descendants, the children of Jacob. So Jesus Christ is coming to bring vengeance on, on the nation of Esau, Edom. He's going to tread you under his foot. And uh, you got to pay with your blood. That's the penalty of your sins. As you can't pay it off with your money. The money that you accumulated here. The Lord said, uh, your silver and your gold is corrupted. You rich man shall weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. In the book of James. But you stole America. And you stole the children of Israel. You kidnapped us. We came over here by way of slave ships, which proves the so-called African-Americans and the natives are the uh, children of Israel, the northern and the southern kingdom. And your people got to pay for what you did. So you need to tell your colleagues, tell your CEOs and the rich man in your, uh, in your circle that Jesus Christ hates them and he's coming back to destroy you to take you into captivity and he's going to spill your blood upon his holy white garments and his blood shall be dyed red with your blood his garments shall be dyed red with your blood Jesus Christ the black messiah he's the god of the earth he's the king that ruleth in the kingdom of men the constitution is the proof of that because he tricked your people you put the wealthiest people in the constitution Call them three-fifth persons. Article 1, Section 2. The children of Israel that came here by way of slave ship, we're non-considerants. We didn't consent to being in the Constitution. We inherited citizenship. We're the only people on the planet that can say we inherited citizenship. Everybody else come here by, by choice. So there cannot be sentences. Because they got to work 400 years without wages. And none can compare to that. None can get that uh, a claim, but the children of Israel, which are written in the scriptures. You know, so uh, you just fattening yourself up like a Thanksgiving turkey with your riches. That's what you uh, Edomites have been doing. All the riches that you stole belong to the children of Israel. The silver and the gold belongs to us. Right, the, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. You a thief and a robber, a fugitive and a vagabond. And the black Jesus Christ is coming to, to show you that you never was nothing. He put you over us because of our sins and transgressions. But you're the, the basis of all nations. You Edomites are the, the vile, vilest creatures of the earth. You're as subtle as Satan. You're Satan's children. And get ready for slavery, you damn devil. <clears throat> well, you a monk. Jesus is the Lord. Not Buddha. That young girl with that older dude. Probably a gold digger. So what do y'all say? Uh, y'all say that worldly, ungodly men even though they millionaires are high value men? Is that what you say? Is 
that what you think? You put value on men or women, high value women, according to the what they make, that they're multi-millionaires, and you chase them, you rather have them. That's like me chasing after. What's up, bro? Can I ask you a question? What's up, have you, have you heard that term, high value men, high value women? High value? Yeah. Like, like your uh, value? Yeah. I never heard of it, but I, I, I'm kind of familiar yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, Multi millionaires, for, for example, Beyonce. Okay. Would, would you call her a high value woman? Yeah. You would? Yeah, because. Uh, I, mean, um, I mean, yeah, because she's got, she got power. Who would you say is a high value man? Maybe LeBron James or somebody yeah, like that. LeBron you would say that. A high value yeah. man. He's a billionaire. Yeah. Now, can me ask you this: Can an ungodly man, can a wicked man, be high value? Nah. Even though they got millions of dollars. Nah. Well, Beyonce is uh, will be called, according to the Bible, an ungodly woman. Exactly right. So with Jay Z. Yeah. And LeBron James. Yeah. These people don't. Uh, live the life of Christ Jesus. Would you say Jesus Christ would be a high value man? I mean, Do you believe in him? Of I'm talking about the black Jesus. The, you of know course. Jesus is black, right? Yeah. Have, you, have you ever heard of the children of Israel? Yes. You know that's us? Yeah. We're God's chosen people? Yeah. Did you know you're high value because of your birthright? Yeah. You have a biblical birthright that makes you high value. Yeah, that's true. Ancestors. Give, back to give, yeah, you come from kings and we come from kings and queens. Exactly. Right? Yep, gods and goddesses. So uh, if we value th what this world says, like the riches of the world, because uh -huh. the Bible tells us we can't serve God and riches, God and men. Exactly. Right? Yep. No man can serve two masters, right? So we got to take our eyes off what the what the world is programming us. Exactly. Those entertainers and sports superstars, yep. they're... Uh, Seducing us yeah. into believing that their way is the right way. Yep. Or with all this materialistic things yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Worldly things. Even college education exactly. and careers. They're deceiving us into making us think that these things are high value. These things that if we chase those things, those things put us in debt. Yeah. The U.S. Yeah. currency is the worst thing they could have ever brought to America. The right. U.S. currency. Right. But that's what's destroying our people. That's right. what's got us killing. We are killing over Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin ain't did shit for us, but took our land. Right. You feel me? Right. So we coming to it. We in a time to where our land is going to be given back to us. That's right. That's just how right. that's right. it's going to have to go. You that's know? right. Because the tables is going to turn. And, that's, right. and, you know, the sun's going to activate our DNA, you know? It's gonna do something to our DNA to activate it, and, and, and we're well, gonna be back at a point well, where we're not was. the not the creation son, but the creator. Exactly. Right? Both the of them. The creator is the son. Yeah. Because you don't worship the son, do you? The S-U-N? No. You don't worship that? You worship the one that made the son, right? Exactly. The creator. Now, is that creator Jesus Christ in your heart, in your mind? Do you call him Jesus Christ? I call him God. So do you All live by every word of God? Or are you still a sinner? Oh, yeah. You still a sinner? Uh, I mean, I, I repent, yeah. But I do wrong. But so. you know we got to be born again. We got to be born out of sin. Exactly. Exactly. So repentance is being converted exactly. to becoming the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. And that's what that's what I did when I went to prison. I asked God, I prayed and I meditated so much, and I asked God to put me in the image and the likeness of Him, and He did that. But, and but you say you're still that. sinning, right? You're no, I'm sinning. not really sinning. You, are you fornicator? No. Nah. You, you don't. Have, are you a virgin? No, I'm not a virgin. So uh, you still engage in sex? No, I haven't. I'm, I'm, I haven't really had sex. I'm not even focusing on. It. Yeah, you live by every word of God. Every yeah. word. Yeah. You do? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you should be out here with me then, preaching yeah. and well, teaching well, the people. Yeah. Is I that mean, what you do? Right now I'm homeless. I'm going through a situation right now, mental health situation. But once I get everything back in order, I will be back out here. You know. Uh, uplifting my, inspiring my people, and uplifting my people. Could that be because of the way you live in? No, uh, that's just because that's what that's my purpose, you know. So you chose to be homeless. Um, no, no I that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Could, could that be because of the way you've been living in the eyes of God? You haven't been living right. No, in the I, eyes went of God? A, I went through an uh, infection. I had an infection on my brain. You know, and it kind of slowed my processing down. It slowed Sorry everything it. down. So yeah. I have, that's why I'm. So how you doing now? It's Look, you're looking it's good. Now. Yeah, it's healing. Yeah, I'm coming back. You know, yeah. That's why I'm out here moving yeah. now. You know? Now, did you seek your healing uh, 
through medicine or by way of doctors? Oh, or no. Did uh, you go connection with God? You know, I, I, Jesus? I, I, yeah. I, God, I, I asked God for um, guidance, and he showed me what I need to do to heal myself. Right. You know, because we heal ourselves. We don't need medication, you know? That's true. Yeah. It's the blood of Jesus and the exactly. body of Christ. You know, exactly. we, we are tech already healed according to the scriptures. Exactly. We just have to tap into experience it. Exactly. You know, because healing comes to all those who are forgiven by God. Exactly. You know, and we get his mercy, we get his grace, yeah. and uh, we get the Holy Spirit to, to make what the Bible says uh, our experiences. Oh, right. Exactly. So we can manifest his healing. Exactly. You know, yeah. and that way we don't we don't have to put our trust in men. We put our exactly. trust in God. the Creator. Right. Because all healing comes from God. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey man, it's good talk. You got any questions oh, yeah. for me? Uh, no, really no get you a yeah, part, man. Appreciate you know the conversation. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But um, go into perfection because I don't know if you claim that, but we have a resting place. I said go into perfection. Because we have a resting place in Christ. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. resting place is Zion. And we're perfected in, in Zion when we're strangers and pilgrims to the earth. Right. So you got to die to the world, too. Exactly. To love of the world. You, the Bible said, don't love the world, neither things that are in the world. If any man had the love of the world, the love of God is not in him. Exactly. For all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust yeah. of the flesh, and the pride of life. Yeah. This is not of God, but of the world. And the world passeth away. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Right. 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 Have you read that book, the uh, Willie Lynch letter to yeah, make another I swing? Yeah, I read demonstration. Yeah. That's how our people are programmed today. Yeah. By, uh, by that slave program. You notice everybody out here ages now. We living in a matrix. Yeah. Everybody ages. They got the vaccine. Everybody, majority of the people got the vaccine. And they a robot. They agents. This is really the matrix out here. That's right. It's, it's, it's real. It's, it's, That's right. It's really what's going on. I'm watching it with my own eyes. But one I'm thing in the matrix, Mortis was teaching Neil to renew your mind, right? Yeah. That's what we got to do. Reprogram. That's how we escape. I created, I created, uh, I reprogrammed America, man. The feds, everybody is. The United States government. They know who I am. I'm, I'm the one, Neo. You hear me? I reprogrammed America, bro. Well, that would make you the Christ. Come Neo, on, Neo on, represents the Christ. The, the Messiah. Yeah. 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 Real and I'm with that. I'm with that. Uh, I, I took away all the police force. As long as, you, long, long as you're living by every word of God, the scriptures. Oh, yeah, of course. That's what, again, that's what makes you high value is, is your Lord, your God. Amen, yeah. Your, Christ is the head of every man. Yeah. You know, that's through faith and obedience. Yeah. No. So really, the, 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 the value, we, 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 we claim his name, right. Jesus Christ. Exactly. And there's none higher or... Or in more value than him. Exactly. Right? Worship, yeah. So our value is the Lord's. That's the gift of God to the children of Israel. His, yeah. his son. Exactly. He's our gift. They brought us out. He brought us out of bondage. That's right. right. He, brought, he took the curses off of exactly. us. Exactly. And gave us the uh, the promised land. He gave us you know, his Jesus life. He's still here. He's, he's, he never well, he's uh, me and you. He's in our spirit. Me right. and you. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Spirit. Right. That, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We. We. Uh, we are Christ exactly. in his image and likeness. Exactly. But we have to it has to become our reality. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what makes us high value. Yeah. And the women too. Oh yeah. Most the definitely. women's value is in Christ. But again, they can't chase these entertainers, these rappers and millionaires. Nah, nah, they sold, and, they sold, they sold, they sell. And, and sports superstars and stuff like that. That's yeah. the fool's goal. Exactly. They are the LeBron James and them and yeah. you know, uh, uh, the Serena sisters and you know the Williams sisters, they they, they fools go, huh? They belong to the, the white man. They the white oh, man's yeah. property still. Yeah. They not they have not disassociated themselves with this bondage, they this captivity. Deep. They they in right? too deep. With if, the curses. If they, if they were if they was if they wasn't with them, they'd be out here right now. That's right. There wouldn't be no homeless people out here. He a billionaire. Got well, as long as the white man is, is still in rulership, see, you can't have light and darkness ruling at the same time. Exactly. So the white men, who are the Edomites in the Bible, they're the reason for, the, the Bible said, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Exactly. But when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. So when the Lord takes them out of power, 
that's when the, the earth and stuff is going to start rejoicing. Yeah, the earth is suffering right, right now. now. The no, earth is suffering because, because the wicked are in rule. Exactly. And they're going yeah. to get took out of their power. they already losing right. their business. So that's right. right. Everything is going to transpire. That's right. What's yeah. your name, man? Will. Will? Yeah. I like that, man. That? That's what the Bible is. The Bible is God's will. Yeah. See? It's will and testament. See? Yeah. So you know, the only way we can get to your inheritance, the only way you claim the, the, the inheritance of a will, that must be the death exactly. of the testator. Yeah. testator. So Christ gave us life, but you and I likewise, we got to put our, our our natural life, our carnal life to death, yeah. our flesh life. Yeah. You know, we got to yeah, uh, be crucified good. with Christ in yeah. order to bear his fruit. His death. fruit is his life. And, and, uh, and the Father's will that we bear much fruit. Most so death. shall we be his His disciples. Yeah, that's cool. You know? That's the rich life of Christ. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Yeah. That's his scriptures. You know? Yeah. Our, our mouth should be a well of life. Exactly. Ooh, we're supposed to be trees of life. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Ain't no higher value than that. The Bible says, Greater love have no man than this, than he that lay down his life for his friends. Yeah. So Christ, that's he desires us to love him more than we love our own life. Oh, yeah. To love him more than we love the world. Love sin. Exactly. Love uh, riches of this world. Yeah. Moses stepped down from Egypt, you know, and he became uh, uh, equal to his brethren. Right. You know, he stepped down to be an a Israelite. Right. But he was next in line to win the throne of Egypt right. under Pharaoh. So Moses, for, with his people. He, he forsook the riches of Egypt. That's what's that, up. That's what we got to do. Yeah. Forsake the that's riches of Egypt. That's what's up, man. That's, that's why, why I, I said you should be with me. That's why I said you got to get with believers, man, spiritual brothers, because everybody else will will drain you, yeah. keep you in that's low what frequency. Doing. But I'm at a point where now I'm finna rise above all. I, everybody who did who did they what they did to me, I'm finna rise up. That's confidence, man. That's good yeah. talking. Yeah, That's good talking. They let me know who I was. You got to stay off drugs because uh, one drugs. thing that homeless life can do, My uh, energy too it, it, for the devil desires to get you hooked on drugs and, oh, and, yeah. and drain you even no, more. I can't he, get addicted yeah. to nothing. He, he wants to drain. My mind. And hey, you know you the devil? You know you the devil? Uh, he yeah. Know, he know yeah. The devil wants to drain us, man. Is up. The devil wants to. Up. And the devil swallowing our people up. Because it's the last days, the last time. Yeah. The, the end of his time. Yeah. So that's what he's going to do. Real he's talk. He's attacking the shit out of me, but he know he can't get me. Because I'm, I'm meditating, I'm praying, I'm that's right. positive affirmation. That's right. You, you talk, know? you talking right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the smartest men in the world. Powerful as lawyer, one of the powerful as lawyers in the world. I ain't shit, but 28 years old. 28? Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, you know y'all got to go into captivity, right, white folks? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, coming back to put y'all in captivity. Right, I fuck with you, though. That's yeah. real talk. Bro. Right. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Where you from, OG? Huh? Where you from? I'm from here. Okay. King Superman, man. On YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I've been up here about nine years. From where? Chicago. That's what's up, Windy City. Yeah. Windy City. Seven, eight years. Seven, eight years. We're going to have to yeah, hook up, man. Years, uh, Huh? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was in New Orleans I was in Paris prison, New Orleans. Yeah. But I found out, you know, later, you know, after I got got the knowledge of God, that they locked me up illegally. And that's what they do to our brothers and sisters. They, yeah, it's all corrupt, man. They locking us up. They they criminalized us right after slavery. When, when, when we, we got freed from slavery, yeah. they criminalized us. Yeah. You know, they start saying stuff like uh, ready, coming up with laws like loitering. They say, well, with two or three of us, like we gathering right now, exactly. they call that a crime. Yeah. Jaywalking, you know? all that goofy. Yeah, shit. yeah. Because the, they done the, got uh, me for jaywalking plenty of times. Seriously. It was a lot of brothers locked up in uh, New Orleans, you know, call it obstructing the sidewalk. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Just standing on the sidewalk. 
when we you get know? together, our energy brings power to the universe. They're afraid of that. And that's what they don't want. That's what the Lord said, where two or three are gathered together in his name. That's what we got to get back to, the Lord's name, and, and, and love one another in righteousness. You know, under the and, power of the Holy Ghost, that's what makes us powerful right there. Yep. Makes us a kingdom, they, That's why they came with COVID and the six feet to keep us separated. Population control. Keep us separated from coming together. Yep. I, I love y'all, bro. It's time. Love you too, Will. This is time right Thank here. Thank the Lord for yeah. you, man. Damn. Hey, holla at me. You'll see me out here. What's up? What's up, my boy? Hey, how you doing, sir? You know you're going into captivity when Jesus come back. Jesus is black. You white people are the devil. We're talking about high value today, man. Because in this world, they say you, a certain celebrity, they say, for example, a movie star, they say, well, he worth 50 million, 100 plus million, you know, stuff like that, you know. So, uh, but in Christ, we are priceless, man. The Lord said he'd make a man more what? Precious than gold. We are priceless in Christ, man. Uh, the true value of those sons and daughters of God, man. Your birthright. You're worth more than the earth itself, man. Okay? The natural resources. We're, we're, we're greater than the natural resources. Okay? We are a spiritual resource. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Real quick question for y'all. Uh, high value, man and woman. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say high value, man or a woman? I'm going to let you know right now. I'm trying to give back to my people right now. Yeah. I ain't really got time for yeah. these questions. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. got camp somewhere down here no, today? Y'all you know just finished? Y'all just finished? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, just want to hear y'all take on camera, man, so the people can hear you. See, they couldn't say nothing, y'all. They know who King Superman is. Real quick, man. How you doing, bro? Real quick question. First thing to come to your mind when I say high-value man, high-value woman. What's the first thing to come to your mind? People with good character. People with good that's, that's tight. That's tight. Okay. I was thinking you was going to say a celebrity or something. Somebody like that. Because <laughs> that, that, just because you a celebrity don't make you have good character. And most of the time, they say those people are rude. They proud, right? They proud. They are very rude. Um, they're, they're everything opposite of the scriptures. They 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 pro L, uh, y'all know the alphabet group. All of that. They ungodly. They have they're swingers. They're whores and whoremongers. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Can I ask you a quick question? Real quick question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? First thing comes to your mind when I say high value man, high value woman. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? High respect. value. Respect. Who? Respect. Respect. Yeah. That's tight. That's tight. Are you a man of the Bible? Are you a man of faith? No, I'm a man of faith. Yes. You a man? Who? Uh, you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Yeah. You know he's a black man, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, where you from? All right. What part of Africa are you from? <laughs> West. Okay. You might be a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> okay. All right. He didn't want to talk, you see. He didn't see people that claim Christ, but he's shy, right? He don't want to talk about the Lord. He don't know what blessing. Do you know you get blessings out of breaking bread with a brother or a sister? When you get to give you an example, Luke 24, those brothers that uh, right after uh, the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, two men, what was that land? Emmanuel, the city of Emmanuel, they was walking. And when they saw the Lord, they didn't recognize the Lord. The Bible says their eyes was holding. This is in Luke 24. And um, But they were kind to a, a stranger, which, which was the Lord. They were talking to the Lord, and they didn't know it. And they uh, invited him to their, to, to their house to eat bread, to break bread. And they did that, and when they did that, Jesus opened their eyes, right, as they were breaking bread. See, when you show love to your brethren, you don't know what blessings is going to come out of that, especially when they come in the name of Jesus. 
you know those are true believers that's brother they love you know what i'm saying that's having fervent love one to another you know and and, and especially with a stranger the bible said we must be careful how we entertain strangers because some entertain strangers unaware but if you still love the world see you got that fear in you that's a fear spirit and the bible said god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind see see that's a fear spirit you know when you you're afraid of strangers you know and even when they come in the name of say the name jesus you don't want to break bread with that brother the Bible said, "He that winning souls is why." That shows that he's shallow in the word too. However, you did think I was drinking because you are supposed to try the spirits, and First John chapter four tell us to see whether or not they are of God. You are supposed to try the spirits, but if you ain't got enough gasoline in you, you ain't got enough word in you. That means you ain't got enough love in you, because God's word is the fuel. God's word is the love. All the glory goes to God. See, my love is God's love. You know, uh, all the glory goes, come, goes, flows from the Lord and back to the Lord. I heard a song, a gospel song, and the lady said in a song, "Let my, the river of my love flow to you." She said that to the Lord. She's singing that to the Lord. She said, "Let the river of my love flow to you." I correct that. See, when you come and become spiritual minded, you catch the flaws <laughs> in what people say and in what people do. And you able to, to point that out, shine the light, uh, rebuke, reprove, and exhort our brothers and sisters. That as song should have been said, let the river of your love flow from you to me, Lord. Let the river of your love, the Lord is the fountain of life. The Lord is the fountain of life. She said that like she herself is the source. Let the river of my love flow to you. No. It's the Lord's love. It's the Lord's glory. It's the Lord's spirit. It's the Lord's salvation. Right? Everything that we are in salvation is of the Lord. We even carry his name. Huh? We're married. Husband and a wife. Or one, man. Husband and a wife. He's the husband. We're the wife. He's, he's the bridegroom. We are the bride. So, again, we are the value, man. And uh, that's why y'all should stick with King Superman videos for the pure truth, man. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I think I'm going to do a part two on this, man. Part two coming soon. Make sure y'all hit that like button, help a brother out, subscribe. Tell your family members, friends, neighbors, strangers about these videos so they can be edified and grow likewise. Uh, be looking for a part two on this, man. Uh... We have the birthright, man. That makes us the value. And you got to see yourself as this, you know. Not just be uh, a hearer and not a doer. Um, you got to experience this, man. You got to manifest this in your spirit, your attitude, your character. You know, this is this is the fruit. You know, your life. Yeah, I should say you blessed, man. Right? And uh, the world should see. They have to see God through you. They see Jesus by looking at you, by hearing you, okay, by you blessing them uh, with his presence, you know, with his rest. And all this is obtain obtainable to the true believers, man. Otherwise, you got nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. If the kingdom of God is not you, you're in error. That's what Jesus said in uh, Luke 17, 21. The kingdom of God is in you. He himself is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is Christ in you. The hope of glory. Okay? Everything points to Jesus Christ. And you're only getting that truth here, man. And put these videos up. Uh, start some sites. And upload King Superman videos to your site. Help get this word out there. Put it on uh, Facebook, Instagram, however you do it. You know, you, you, you know, y'all, y'all, uh, computer literate. I'm, I'm computer illiterate that's why I don't do much with all that stuff uh, but you help a brother out you do that for me or you do that with me uh, let's see how much you love Jesus let's see you make the sacrifice let's see you do put that work in okay I want to see these videos up 
somewhere. I want to see it out there. You know, do what y'all do, man. Are you blessed in the Lord? Or are you serving afar off? And you can't manifest no work of the Lord. Well, put up or shut up. And uh, let the blood of Jesus be with you anyway. Till next video. I think I'm going to do a part two. Peace.